Tonight, our CBS4 investigative team has a new cell phone that you paid for, along with our phone bill. And you're right, that never should have happened. The phone that was handed out free to us through a government program that's supposed to be for those in need. But our investigator, Brian Moss, discovered it is riddled with abuse. They are handing out the free cell phones like Halloween candy. I think it's a good deal. A treat for those getting free phones, but we found it's a bit of a trick on you. That's what everybody call them in the hood, Obama phones. It's called the Lifeline program, but participants call them Obama phones since the program has exploded under President Obama, now costing us more than $2 billion a year. If you have a cell phone, you pay for the program through a tax on your monthly bill. The idea is that recipients get these free phones to help them find work or call 911. Do you have a food stamp card? To be eligible for the free phone, you have to prove your low income with a food stamp card, Medicaid, or other proof of need. You want to sign up for a free phone? Sure. A picture ID, food stamp card, or picture ID, Medicaid card? I don't have Medicaid. You have food stamp? No. We sent an undercover producer to downtown Denver to ask about the phones, even though he does not qualify. We'll push it through by that time, maybe somebody come through and use the Hang on, what did he just say? Push it through by that time, maybe somebody come through. So they then use someone else's food stamp card to make our producer eligible for the phone. Did you use that dude's food stamp card for me? It's a verification that you're on some kind of assistance program. That's all. Okay, but you used his card for me. That's yeah, cool. yeah. It's against federal rules, but the employee did it anyway. He has an incentive to do this because he's paid three dollars for each phone he hands out. You have a good day, sir. You too. It's a systematic ripoff. We shared yeah, our sorry, findings yeah. with John Caldera, a critic of big well, government. Yeah, yeah. But those of us who actually pay for our cell phones, we're paying more because they're getting those for free. Several times, the workers handing out the Lifeline phone said if we didn't have our own food stamp card, we could qualify with someone else's. But I can use my ID, use somebody else's social security card or something like that. Use somebody else's food stamp card. My buddy's card, my buddy's EBT card or whatever or something like that. Yeah, I think so. It could be right. That too is against federal regulations, but the questionable practices go even further. You got one? Take this man. He told us he didn't qualify for a free phone, but he found an easy shortcut, getting a food stamp card to use as a prop. They said I don't qualify, but they still gave me a card. And with that card, you pay for his phone and monthly minutes. Even though he showed us he already has a smartphone, he wasn't the only one. Does it matter if I already have like an iPhone or something? No. No? Several people snatching up the phones indicated they could pay. Do you already have an iPhone? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you already have an iPhone or something? Yeah. You do? But this is, yeah, but this is for a sibling. So you have a fraud perpetrated on a fraud perpetrated on a fraud. As for our free cell phone, we will be returning it. Brian Moss, CBS 4 News.